Hi there. Now if you watched the previous video, I showed you how to work out the acute angle between two straight lines. It was given by this formula here. Tan theta equals the modulus or magnitude of m1 minus m2 all divided by 1 plus m1 m2 where m1 m2 were the gradients of the two lines that you see here. Now I didn't prove that result that's the aim of this particular video so I'll show you how we go about proving it. Let's say we draw a dotted line across here at the point of intersection between the two lines and let's say this angle to the red line we'll call alpha and to the blue line let's say that angle is beta. So theta then must be equal to alpha minus beta. Now if we take the tan of each side of this equation we have the tan of angle theta equals the tan of all of alpha minus beta. And now we call upon a trig identity which you might have covered if not it's this that if you've got the tan of the difference between two angles let's say a and b it's equal to the tan of a minus the tan of b all divided by 1 plus tan a tan b and using this result if I let alpha correspond to a and beta correspond to b then this is the same as the tan of angle alpha minus the tan of angle beta and it's all divided by 1 plus the tan of angle alpha times the tan of angle beta. Now turning to gradient we know that gradient is the difference in y over the difference in x. So if I draw triangles representing alpha and beta then the gradient m1 is equal to the difference in y that's this side here divided by the difference in x that side there. Well this is the same as opposite over adjacent which would be tan of angle alpha and we get a similar result when we consider the gradient m2. For the angle beta the tan of beta will be the opposite side over the adjacent side the gradient. So we can pick up on those results there and we can see that for tan alpha we've got m1 so we've got m1 minus and for tan beta that's m2 and that's going to all be divided by 1 plus m1 times m2. Now the angle theta is a positive value and it could be that when you're doing the working that you put m2 and m1 round the other way. So what you're going to get here is a negative result. We know it's got to be positive so what we can do is put a modulus around that. But if I put a modulus around that I should put it around this equation here and the same up here. And so that proves our result up here. So I hope that's given you some idea anyway how we establish that result. Okay?